cool. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Devin here with Make Anything. And I hope you saw my last video on that DIY planter that I made from an old bucket. Although, I don't know what the mysterious YouTube algorithm is showing you these days. Check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But basically, my urge to 3D print everything kicked in. So I ended up making these little tiny versions of the planter, as well as the Monstera Deliciosa plants that went inside. And this was really just meant to be a fun little side project for myself. I wasn't gonna make a video, but it turned out really well. And there's actually some really cool stuff going on with it in terms of the filament I used and some of the processes. So I thought I'd make a quick video for you guys. So the way this thing is made is kind of similar to the actual large scale planter. I mean, the, the little legs here that are normally made out of wood, well, they're made out of wood filament in this case. And I actually modeled it similar to the way that the legs are made in that it's two parts that lay flat and slot together. It turned out that that's actually an easier way to 3D print it as well. So that worked out really well. And then for the pot, you can see it's nice and glossy. And a lot of people who are a little bit in the know might think that it's an acetone smoothed ABS part. But I actually printed this using Polymaker's Poly Smooth filament, and I smoothed that in the Polysure, which is this machine that, I, I don't know if I've showed it on this channel yet, but basically you use this special filament, and then you've got this container you put some 99% isopropyl alcohol in it, and the polisher turns that into a mist. And it turns them all around and coats this evenly with that mist, and it ends up smoothing out the whole part. And it looks really cool, especially for this purpose. So we've got that, we've got the poly smooth filament, we've got the wood filament, and then as far as the monstera leaves, it is good old fashioned PLA except it's got a thermochromatic pigment, which means that when there is heat applied to it, it'll actually change from this kind of deep green into a more lime green. And that's pretty fun because in the same way that if you leave a monstera plant out in the sun, the leaves might go yellow. That's what's gonna happen with this little artificial version as well. So a little bit of hyper-realism there. These leaves were actually printed completely flat on my print bed, but then I went back and softened them so with this tiny one, I used some boiling water to make that PLA soft again, and then I shaped it into the more organic form that you see. For this larger one, I used a heat gun, and that worked really well, but because these leaves are so thin, they're 0.6 millimeters thick, even a hairdryer would do the job of softening those leaves so that you could shape them up. So we've got thermochromatic PLA, we've got polysmooth filament, we've got wood filament, and all together it makes this really cute little monstera plant. I thought it was fun, so that's my quick little video sharing this project. And as always, you can find these files for free to download and print at My Mini Factory. I'll put a link in the description, and I will also link to the various filaments that I used here since they're pretty cool. So that's about it. I hope you liked it. And until next time, I'm Devin, this is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired.